Hi there, this is uh, Professor Steve Singer from Gillan Community College. Uh, just welcome to the Cyber Underground. I'm going to be your uh, guest host here, as it were, uh, in the studio host, and then we're going to go live to Dave Stevens in Las Vegas, Nevada. Dave, how's it going, guy? I'm great, I'm on the screen now. You're on. Kitty, uh, you can see us now? Okay, I'm here. Uh, I'm Dave Stevens, the host of the Cyber Underground. Dave Welcome forward. back. Or, here we dig deep and find out how cybersecurity touches all of us in our everyday lives. Today, I'm going to have Hal Colburn at the other end of the table here joining us, one of our other uh, assistant professors at Capilani Community College for the University of Hawaii System. Also joining us here today are three of our students. But before we begin, am I coming through? You can hear us. Okay, Steve? Are good enough sound? I'm going to assume he's got sound. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, this is Jamie Lau, Alexandra, can you say your last name? Yes, of course. So my name is Alexandra Kaopi. Okay. And I'm Beth Kaopi. All right. So they've uh, all been uh, victims of our cybersecurity program at Capulani Community <laughs> College for the first two years of, of their poor existence in the IT game. And now they're about ready to move on. Um, you guys have to know a little bit about where you came from and what brought you to IT, a little bit about your experience, and what you're doing here at DEF CON. So let's start with Devin. Um, my name is Devin Kapsha. I guess I will be going to West Toronto as a uh, this coming August. So that's one of our 10 campuses in the university system, and they do a Bachelor's of Applied Science in IT, or? Uh, I'll be doing information insurance. So basically cybersecurity. So you're moving on to the third year program. That's good for you. Okay, how'd you get into IT in the first place? Were you forced? No, actually I had an internship at my medical group back online, and I was exposed to their tech, helping them do networking, simple computer fixing things, and from there I got really interested in it, and then I continued on. Tried to do it on the Maui, couldn't really do it there, so I went to the computer line for me. And what did you learn here? What have you done really good? Yeah. Uh, well, so today, actually, I've been sitting in their, uh, oh, <laughs> their social engineering village. Oh, that's a great one. I loved that one last year. Yeah, you watched them actually hack people on the phone. Yeah, listening to them attempt. Some some people attempted to do things. Other people actually did complete what they were going to do. It was really interesting to see how people answer the polls and how they try to get people to continue through and, and give away information. Yeah. yeah, and every little bit counts for the next phone call, right? You do a chain of phone calls using previous information for the next phone call. Or sometimes people just do a single phone call and get and it keeps you Okay, let's move on. Can we call you Alex? Yeah, sure. Okay, Alex. So, hello again. Um, you can call me Alex. I'm going to be talking about how so I'll be pursuing my bachelor's degree in information security and insurance um, in the beginning of fall 2017, actually. So just to um, give a small background information about myself is that um, I'm actually from Korea, and what led to my passion in IT particularly was there were several reasons, actually, but one of the big reasons was because when I was younger, um, my dad really, he was in the military at the time. He taught me, like, he was to use computers. And then from there, slowly, like, developed a passion for computers. And I was thinking to myself, like, hey, okay, this really is, like, where I really want to do. So um, after I found my passion, um, both my family and I, we came to Hawaii. And then from there, started the, um, what I had to do, went to middle school, high school, and then eventually came to copy over and start to enroll in the major of information technology. Well, and you guys, this is Jamie Lau. Jamie, tell us a little bit about yourself and then tell us what you did at the Hardware Hacking Village today. Okay, um, my name is Jamie and I will be graduating soon and transferring to University of Hawaii, West Oahu. And um, so a little bit of background about myself. I'm a mom and I was tired of just jumping from random job to random job, so I decided to go back to school and I chose KCC, and I'm an IT major. And the first time I met DEFCON, I decided to learn about um, about everything here. And what we did was 
Alex and I stopped at the hardware hacking village and we built this this little device. So we soldered we soldered everything the resistors, capacitors, and voice activated. Woo! Woo! Okay. There you go. All right. Yeah, so the villages are just one of the kind of mini conferences going on in here. We have villages, uh, like social engineering, uh, wireless um, hacking villages, um, and we also have presentations here. Right? We have tracks, four different tracks, where you can take presentations and you just go from room to room about every hour and hear another presentation. What else is going on? We have workshops that I guess fill up in like 15 minutes of being online, so yeah. how do you ever get to the workshops? It's kind of chaotic in the hallways, right? You can't give a shot in the hallways, but uh, how's it, how's it uh, getting back and forth between and stuff? The lines are horrendous, <laughs> but it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. It's so worth it. We just um, stopped into a, a healthcare yeah, hacking Yeah, biohacking village. Yeah, biohacking village. Well, they have the first time ever they're having the, uh, what's the, the election machine hacking village. Have you guys tried this one? No. We stepped in, we could barely get in the room. Apparently, it's a and uh, not everyone speaks English, so I don't know that might speak. <laughs> By the way, uh, you guys out there, Steve, we depend on you to tell us when we need to go to a break. So just shout it out. I don't know uh, how long we're going to get, uh, but uh, tell us when we need to go to a break. Well, just for a little history, uh, DEF CON is uh, not an info security or defensive uh, uh, conference. What we got here is an offensive security conference, what we call, um, oh gosh, how would I put it? They don't really call themselves hackers anymore. They're security researchers. <laughs> but it's a, it's a very necessary component of the entire security ecosystem. If you don't research how to hack things, then people don't know how to defend things. Uh, you just have to guess what to defend. But these guys, actually, we, uh, Hal and I had a presentation this morning where we saw somebody that made a robot to hack into a safe. And it took about 51 minutes to go through every single possible combination on the safe. And and you believe it. It's pretty amazing. So, what's uh, what's your best, uh, what's your favorite thing about coming here to Vegas to a conference? Just the hands-on experience. Oh, it's kind of an industry thing, right? You, yeah. you get your hands into the industry, and you get to see other kind of people that see some interesting yeah. people here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some interesting folks here, uh, but you can make some really good friends here too. And it's a, a place to make some connections. If you make the right connections, you can reach out and ask for help. And they can reach out to you and ask for help as well. So you guys can keep coming to the conference here. Yeah, it's a little expensive to get out of Vegas, but DEF CON itself is only $260 this year. And it's not bad for conferences. Um, Black Hat is much more than that. And uh, next year, we just found out about a conference here as well, one of the 10 rank B sides. They give you a mentor, walk you through resume creation, and get you in the industry. And uh, you guys have all done your insurance, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get Right now. Okay. So after that, do you have anything lined up? Or is it just school? Just school. Just school for now? Just another couple of years of school? Yes. And then uh, who's going to apply for the NSA scholarship? There's an NSA scholarship. It's some women in IT bring you up uh, through the ranks and uh, just a presentation. We'll get you guys into the place in, uh, in Wahoo. That's the middle of Oahu, by the way. Uh, it's a little covered place they call the tunnel. It's, it's pretty, very secure. You get presentations in there. You can come too. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Tell me something else about what's going on here. What did you guys do uh, this morning besides hardware hacking? You, oh, you were here yesterday. Yes. What did you do yesterday? Semi. Waiting. Anything else? Uh, anything else? Uh, if I have to explain, so after we went through the uh, process of registration, we went through a couple of talks. Um, the, I tried one of the first five, but I can't do it. But um, we went to the um, second talk, which is about digital, I'm oh, sorry, amateur digital archaeology. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And I think um, during the middle of the talk, there was this guy, I apologize for the getting his name, but he was talking about how he acquired um, supposedly NASA flight computers, I think, from a government auction. And I was like, wow, I didn't know he could actually get purchased that. And that's pretty interesting. He was able to actually go into those um, computers and able to get some like images out of them. And I was like, wow, that's pretty interesting. 
This is one of the biggest problems right now with uh, older military equipment being sold off. Sometimes the buyers aren't reputable and they can hack that hardware. And if they know if somebody else has purchased that hardware, they know how to hack that other person's hardware. So, for example, if uh, I don't know if you buy that 15 fighter jets and then you know how to hack it, whoever bought that 15 fighter jets all over the world, Saudi Arabia, whoever bought that jet, now you know how to hack their jets. So it's, uh, it's a problem. Um, in the uh, last year, I watched um, somebody hack an ATM that has the chip reader in it. And those haven't even been put into service yet. And they've already been hacked because the hacker went out and purchased his own from the company that was going to sell all these. And they, were, they didn't mind when they sold them an ATM. And he hacked it right in front of us. And it was pretty remarkable that with a little swipe reader that we can install cell phone they can hack with an ATM. The brand new ones that are chip protected. Right? Um, so that's a big problem. What did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday? I didn't really come yesterday. I did attend the oh, you're fired. Oh, that's just. Uh, <laughs> you went to Black Hat, that's right. So Black Hat and DEF CON share a day. Right? So you went to both days of Black Hat and then came here. So the tail came. Oh, that's right. You took a long way. What was your training? Uh, I had a training in basic web hacking. That was kind of... Yeah, I'll watch <laughs> so did you guys uh, look at the schedule and shoot plans for tomorrow? I think it's And more RPG. I don't really? know. Do you, you want to hack the game? Or do you want to play the game? I want to hack the game. It looked, it looked like a really interesting hack. <laughs> Something I enjoyed. I like gaming. And kind of interested in hacking. So they kind of go hand in hand. Okay, so MMORPG, what does it stand for? Massive multiplayer online we're playing game. Very good, all right. Uh, yeah, come on in. I'm not a lot of things for that. Did you read up on um, what's coming up tomorrow, do you? I did, and there's so much to choose from, but I, I wanted to um, hit some of the other villages that I didn't that I didn't um, check out today. Mm -hmm. um, the Bitcoin village, social engineering village. Oh, yeah, open source so, intelligence. So I wanted to see those first because the lines, they, you know, they grow fast. Yeah, so oh, the last year I was here with the social engineering and we didn't like much in that Well, you make a lot of friends. Green bottle of water. Uh, lock picking village. Um, yeah? Did you, did you get a lot of success? I mean, not yet. No? Okay, well, it's actually, it's actually less expensive. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anything on this trip is expensive, and fear is kind of crazy, too. Yeah. Lock picking village, you gotta try it. It was crazy, Eric. It was. But how? We're gonna be here tomorrow. What are we planning tomorrow? We're looking at the schedule. Yeah, uh, I. I haven't put that closely at the schedule yet, but I'm, I'm trying to focus on a lot of uh, uh, main, uh, internet of things. Oh, this IoT The so security of internet of things, I, I think it's just a uh, real you know, emerging, uh, interesting topic. And uh, I wanted to share here with a little bit at Black Hat, uh, basically, before I find one of the most interesting things. And so is uh, the, the research that actually happened. Car wash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they have the power to program it to attack the cars instead of watching them. Yeah. It's, it's the garage door would come down and, and beat on the like car. Smash on the hood. And, 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 and they did it through a cool. website, which was just really yeah. funny. Remote, you could hack right. this. You this remote. So he, he, the, he was demonstrating that you could turn machines against people because uh, remotely, the software that controls them is controlled and controlled servo motors on the movement. And if you alter their movement to something unexpected, you create a terminal amount of dangers. Just the door on a car wash is usually pretty light. And they didn't even damage the car, but it was hilarious to watch. It really was. We got to be coming up on 14 minutes now. Steve, can we can we get a time check? Okay. How are you doing? Hey, this is awesome, and uh, you guys are having a lot of fun and uh, hearing about some very interesting things.
Uh, why don't we take a quick break and we'll come back and hear about what else is going on in Las Vegas. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? And they told me they were making music. that I could play, so any chance to play at all, you know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But I have a story, and I don't know where to start. I feel alone in a crowd. I can't sleep. I feel overwhelmed. I don't even know who I am anymore. I still have nightmares. I can't live like this anymore. I'm really not so good. But are you ready to listen? Well, we're back in the studio for just a second, and uh, Dave, can you, can you tell us a little bit more about what's happening in Las Vegas? Yeah, welcome back. Uh, we have three new students with us. I'm going to have them introduce themselves so I don't uh, get their names wrong. Um, go ahead, Chris. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm my name is Christopher. Juan, you just call me Chris. Basically, uh, I also go to KGC, but I just traveled over to West Oahu for my uh, bachelor's degree in IT. So that's Capulani Community College, and you've transferred to the University of Hawaii West of Wahoo, which is the campus on the western side of the island. Yep. Out of the five campuses we have to have. Yep. But yeah. I'm also taking classes from KCC and IT, because I'm allowed to do that, and I'm also taking classes from West of Wahoo, so. So you're ready to move on. You got to do the Bachelor of IT or Information Insurance? I'm doing IT. IT, okay. So your career is going in a more general direction. Yeah. Don't know where you can specifically, uh, specifically go into. But I also did uh, some classes on cybersecurity, so I might be minoring in cybersecurity. Okay. Did you take a, we had a class on forensic last semester. Did you take that? No, sadly I did not. But oh. I did finish the, the first and second level of uh, cybersecurity classes. Well, that's great. Okay, so your first experience here at DEF CON, uh, you had to come out to Vegas with the registration. I heard you guys came really early. Get your practice. <laughs> How did that go? What's the experience been like so far? Well, the line was pretty fun because, like, as we we're waiting, we got into this room. Everybody was playing volleyball, the beach ball, just hitting everybody. Uh, I just got hit once. And pretty much. Also, the line, the line, was pretty. It, the way is long, but as long as you have a friend, it, time goes fast. Yeah, that's good. Did you, did you actually get into some boxing? Yeah, uh, we went to the first conference at 10. Presentation or a workshop? Or? It was, uh, it was a present, it's more like a presentation. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about um, DNS, like how people can hack the websites using DNS. And then how, he just explained how you can, can hack it and how, how to prevent it. And then most, of the, most of the things we learned is that when uh, companies get hacked, it's so much easier to get hacked if, if it's something from the inside because they're already connected in the network. And the, um, so they don't want to bypass the uh, uh, DMZ. In the firewalls. Yeah. yeah. And interesting enough, uh, you guys, you and Alan are in my class, when another student at your table, when I dared you guys to hack me, you all did it in different ways. And he did that exact attack on me yeah. at my teacher's workstation because he was on the inside. He had nothing in between him and the router. Yep. That's it. it was a good attack, and you guys did the hard work back there. Uh, you were going to try a drone next, right? <laughs> but you dusted my keyboard with the special ultraviolet dust, and so you hit it with a light, and uh, you tried to install a camera over my keyboard. I can't confirm that since And then you guys finally had uh, Priscilla misdirect me, right? While you snuck into the key logger on my system. Yeah. Uh, very good. It's good work. You guys all got A's on that, right? Yeah. Just successfully did the, who, who did the Ancestry.com check on me five generations back to get all my answers for my security questions? That was that you two? We can't make this. But, okay. Uh, but it was a group effort. And it's 23 in the class. I think most of you participated, right? It was fantastic. 
that's my classic, uh, class, by the way, ethical hacking. Uh, what do we, we call it cyber attacks and defense. I don't know what they call it. But it's ethical hacking. Okay, next. Hi, hi. I'm Eric Boriasi. I'm actually uh, studying computer science at UH Manoa, so I guess I'm like out my ear. Well, that's that's the mothership of the main UH system, right? So University of Hawaii, that was the first campus, UH Manoa. And that's, that's, you get to go to that, right? And the computer science uh, department, uh, prestigious, right? They were the first ones that came up with uh, Aloha Net, which kind of is the wireless packet standard that we use uh, for wireless now, right? That, that was your department, so you're in that, that track. Good job. You're in your junior? Uh, senior. You're a senior. senior. Super senior. What is that? Yeah, that's it, actually. You're, you're making sure you get it right. That, that's, you know, you're not taking your time, you're just being thorough, right? <laughs> and you will go on your master's right now. Uh, so yes. Yes. So yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Going on your master's. Okay, and what are you getting out of this conference so far? So, I actually have a big class I've been doing a lot. But it's kind of it's actually boring compared to seeing um, how the hackers crack software and um, you know, see looking at them using algorithms I learned in class to uh, get answers and you know, looking at their problem solving skills. And you know, it's just how everything comes together to uh, make things work. So you, you've got the theoretical, and this is more the practical, right? You actually see how you actually put these skills to use. And this is how people can become a hacker. Right? You take the theoretical stuff and you practice it, and you go to one of these industry conferences and you, you put your skills to, to work and you see if it actually works. Thank God this is a semi-safe environment. I've only been hacked once since I've been here. I wonder if I'm on a wall of sheep. Oh, oh here or not. Yeah. Wait, we have already checked. Okay. I might have gotten into this afternoon. All right. Next. Now I'm Alan uh, from KGC as well. Graduated recently. Currently is the at UH West Law. And wired for that <laughs> is it because you break everything and you want to fix it? Or? Yeah. Okay. I don't have the breaking. <laughs> <laughs> the technical stuff. You also work with us. You guys work with us uh, on campus. Yeah. How, how's that going? Good. You gonna keep working with us next year? Yep. So you gonna stay with us a little bit longer to get through your class? Probably. Okay. And you two will go for your masters. See so, yes. ya. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You have to be competitive. You have to have a master's degree. And you know what we didn't mention about you to know it? There's actually a PhD in information assurance in uh, But we don't seem to have a master's in it, which is kind of odd. Right? So you have to get a master's in computer science. But you guys are all going to do this, right? You're just going to be masters of the universe, and then you're going to stay in the and not give your skill sets away. Oh, I see. You're, you're not a deliberate to control some information. I get it, I get it. I don't know what we're going to do. What do you think about for the next two days? Uh, what's your what's your, uh, your plan? You, you've looked at the book. What's Saturday and Sunday looking like for you? At the conference, I don't want to know what parties you're going to. Well, we have a few more organizations to go to. That's some interesting here. Uh, then go workshop. Like, uh, for me, it would be Recon and uh, what's the name? Voting Moose. Oh yeah, the, the hacking the, the voting machines. Yeah, yeah that was. That. You know, um, I like what they're doing this year. They have the demo labs. We can go in and get a small presentation and a demo of a process that's occurring in the same room. They have tables set up of miniature networks that you can go and practice the skills you just learned at that demo. Have you guys seen this? The wireless is the one we just went to. And you should you should demo on that. Oh, but did you bring your laptop? Yes. Okay. All right. So. You just go there and try it out safely without damaging me. <laughs> I'm off the list. You guys have already hacked me. Okay, what else? Well, maybe, like, uh, there's actually there's a super cool game that we saw. It's like a, they actually built, I'm not sure if the car is real. Like you can enter the car and then you can control using the car. You can control the car on the screen to move around like on a racetrack. It's, uh, I forgot what game it was called. Yeah. Isn't that just an arcade racing game? No, uh, it's like, I don't know, but like... Well, if it's in the hardware hacking village or the... What is it, car hacking? Yeah, it's, it's car hacking. Chris, you might be driving a real car around somewhere. This is the future of Uber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you can actually, like, you just use the... Uh, you actually use the car itself to drive into the game. So that they connected everything in the car to the monitor to actually, maybe even the gears to control 
digital control in the party game. So maybe in the future we can have a card from just flying through everybody else on the I don't know. I'm not in those circles, unfortunately. Top classified. Yeah, it's all classified. Even if I do it. <laughs> but have you guys witnessed any uh, good demo hacks since you've been here? Uh, that's what the big thing about this conference is the demo and all the hacks that you I don't know the name of the demo, but there was a uh, lot in that was uh, two, two, two guys team trying to like a whole bunch of uh, it's joining like a whole bunch of saves and lots and like a competition and it was fun just going around trying to <laughs> pick each lots and everything on time. This this is a wonderful thing for for how uh, we can add the content from these conferences to our courses. And the I'm sorry, after you guys took my ethical class, uh, ethical hacking class. I added lock picking to the physical security side. So I bring in my lock pick sets and I, and I teach people how to pick locks. So you guys ought to pick that up this time. It was really fun. Uh, some of the guys we know who are doing um, lock picking and having contests to see how fast we can. And a six pin lock is the one you see in a typical door, like a, a, a house. And they were doing a six pin lock in 36 seconds behind their back. When, when we created some monsters, right? So they went out and started hacking like file cabinets and Office doors, so we had to like the rain in. But I mean, it's fun. So you guys should get the lock set and, uh, and try the lock picking village. Yes. Yeah. And the social engineering village, it's it's exciting, it's interesting, and it's depressing all at the same time. Because yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're watching people that you know are intelligent, but you're just completely falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. I saw some 26-year-old uh, lady last year, uh, social engineer, waiting to delay the douche. They're an auditing firm. Uh, they do audits, and she had them on a weekend, which is pretty incredible. So yeah, go there and watch that happen. Uh, can we get a time check? Stephen, how are we doing back in the studio? Yes, we have just and one minute left. One minute left. OK, with our final minute, I just want to shamelessly tell everybody out there that we, uh, we need to beg for money. These students need to get here every year, and we do love some corporate sponsors. Get our students some industry experience by sending them to these uh, cybersecurity conferences. We can't help where they're held. Las Vegas just happens to be where they're held every year. So please, uh, if you want to, contact me and you can go to greentechhawaii.com and ask for Dave at the Cyber Underground. And I would be glad to hook you up with a charitable donation to our 501c3 account so you can write it off on your taxes and get kids like these the experience they should get. Okay, aloha everybody. Thanks for joining us on the Cyber Running Around. Remember, stay safe. Okay, well, that's all the time we have. This is the Cyber Underground with Dave Stevens and some of the students at the DEF CON convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. And thanks for joining us. Aloha.